Welcome back. This is an election year and on the ballot this November will be three at large seats on the Buffalo Public Schools Board. That's the Buffalo School Board. And joining me on the 530 in studio is Jeff Kelly with our partners at Investigative Post. Tell us about the incumbents and who they're challenging. So there are, of course, three incumbents. There are three at large seats, but one of them, Ann Rivera, is not running for re-election. She's just been named provost of Villa Maria. So you've got two incumbents running, Larry Scott and Terrence Hurd. And then so far, we've heard of four challengers who've been circulating petitions to get, try to get on the ballot in November. There's no June pr primary because it's a nonpartisan election. You're right about that. Now, there's been a lot of discussion about the budget deficit, layoffs happening in the district. Uh, could this help the new candidates? Could it give them momentum? It, it probably helps to, for if you're an outsider candidate, if you're one of those challengers for sure, because, you know, you, you're, not, you're not carrying the responsibility for the, for the budget shortfalls. Uh, so, so that may help the challengers for sure. Are the new candidates already on the ballot? Is there a lot of work for them to do? Because I'm thinking about this. You, you talk about people who have been on the school board. Sometimes they get there and they stay for a while. And we are at a time now where parents, they want something new. When you start talking about laying off teachers and reducing services, that's when they're looking at the school board to make some changes. Well, and it's, you know, what's interesting about these challengers is that several of them are BPS parents. Uh, including one guy, Ed Spidell, Spidel, who's the president of the District Parent uh, Coordinating Council. And there's another uh, woman uh, who is uh, an attorney. She's got three kids currently in uh, Buffalo Public Schools. She's had four, one of them graduated. Uh, so, so there's definitely, I think, a push among the candidates uh, to, to express the parents' points of view. You're right about that. I think about Mr. Spidell. He's been making noise for not for a just while. a year, but yeah, for a long for a while. time. Do you think that he has the ear of the parents, and do you think this is something that the incumbents need to be concerned about? Well, I'll tell you what, what Ed Spidell has, among other things. He's got the ear of some sitting board members who are, uh, who are supporting his candidacy, who have, at least one of whom has helped circulate his nominating petition. So, uh, so he's, got, uh, he's got allies on the board already. Uh, as, we, as I said, there's two incumbents running. It's always a mistake to bet against incumbents running for re-election uh, around here. The, you know, the success rate is pretty high, but that one seat is open. And so these four candidates, certainly they're, certainly they're interested in unseating an incumbent, but they're really looking at that one vacant seat. I know you've probably been at some of the Buffalo School Board meetings. When you're there, what's the tone? What's the mood in there in that room? It can be pretty contentious yeah. sometimes. There's a lot. There's some sharp divisions on the board. You know, a, a lot of stuff they manage by consent agenda, where they agree ahead of time. But sometimes the the, the disagreements boil over into some sharp exchanges. So, yet, I think you'll see that as this election uh, season progresses towards the November vote. Uh, that various board members, the, the, the factions will be exposed by who they're supporting or, and who they're not supporting uh, to join them, to become their colleagues. We have to get ready for, and see what happens in November. Jeff Kelly with our partners on Investigative Post, we want to thank you so much for coming in this evening. Always my pleasure. All right.